This is the Palace of Culture in Jermuk, Armenia, but it didn't always look like this. This one stunning building mirrors the broader challenge faced by many post-Soviet towns transitioning to independence. So why did the Soviet utopia fail? Or did it? To dive into the history and see the palace myself, I took a six-hour drive to Jermuk. Alright, so now we're finally here. I'm doing the intro in the car because it's so cold outside. But uh, yeah, we're finally here, ready to explore. It's in the morning, so hopefully we won't have any people we'll meet on the way. But uh, yeah, let's get started. I wanna spend as little time as possible here, to be honest, because it's just way too cold. During the Soviet times, Jermuk was celebrated as a destination for medical tourism, drawing visitors from across the Soviet Union to its therapeutic mineral springs, alpine scenery, and fresh air. Welcome to the Palace of Culture and Sports here in Jeremuk. So the place we're exploring now today has been abandoned apparently since 1989. And uh, well, you can clearly see that this has seen some better days. But this all still doesn't answer the question, what happened here? So this is what happened. With the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 marked the beginning of a steep decline for Jeremuk. The post-independence economic crisis in Armenia had a devastating impact on the town. The number of visitors dwindled as economic hardship to our tourism and investment. This affected all parts of the town. Construction projects halted, the airport shut down, and the population shrank significantly from about 10,000 in the late 80s to less than 5,000 by the early 21st century. Unfortunately, this downturn led to the abandonment and neglect of significant structures, including the former Palace of Culture. Now, if you look at older photos, you can see that there was some uh, statues of some people on the wall, but unfortunately some people have come here and destroyed those. Now, let's keep moving. It's so cold, so I need to stay warm somehow, and that is by moving and exploring. So let's go. Now, so this place had a lot of cool things, including a theater, which I think we're maybe approaching now. Some other significant buildings that still sit abandoned in Jermuk include a cinema, this 14-story tall hotel, and the airport. But today, we'll solely focus on the Palace of Culture. The Palace of Culture in Jermuk is a large symbol of Soviet modernism. Construction began in 1969, but it was not completed until 1986, just a few years before the USSR's collapse. I'm interested in seeing what is in this direction. This building has, if you count the basement, I think it has five floors. You can see you can go even like further up that staircase there. Going up the crumbling staircase. Hopefully it's gonna hold me. Okay, I actually see what this is. This in here is the swimming pool. This building even had a swimming pool and a theater. Like this building has had everything, you know? It's amazing. Yeah, look at this. The decline of the building can be attributed to the broader transition facing Armenia at the time. This left almost no room for the maintenance and operation of such a facility. Promises of restoration by a private investor fell true due to financial difficulties, leaving the building as a symbol of Shemruk's Soviet past. Oh, look at this, so I think that this would be you know, where people could sit and watch maybe some sort of a show that would happen here. Probably some athletes came here and, uh, you know, performed some kind of sport challenge, whatever, gained some medals and took it back to their home place. You could just imagine back in the Soviet times how this building would have looked like. Now it's just crumbling away. And unfortunately, the sculptures on the wall are destroyed, like we saw earlier. But after doing some research, I found out that the sculptures on the wall were some of Armenia's greatest. This includes people like the composer Komitas, the poet Parur Sevak, and the painter Martias Sarian, who has some absolutely stunning pieces of work. Alright, let's set up this circus here. And check out the third floor. Oh wow. Here we get like a really, really cool view. 
recent years, Jermuk has shown signs of revival as a medical and recreational tourist destination. Yet, the remains of the Soviet era past, like the Palace of Culture, remain either underused or completely abandoned. Hopefully, the buildings that was once a part of a Soviet utopia can be transformed into something new and valuable for the local community, bringing new life into this forgotten place. But for now, these structures stand as a silent reminder to a bygone era. And with that, I think that this is the perfect place to end today's adventure. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and also click on the video on the side now to see more like this. All right, bye-bye.